Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Aries, Summer Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look into the week ahead to see what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight with some guidance overall. See what's going on for Aries, Summer Moon, Rising Venus for the week ahead, the next seven days. What do my Aries people need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus for the next week. What's going on for Aries? We have Council of Light. these cards are flying don't dim to fit in and give me one more for aries soul family okay so council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realm so this week ahead there is a lot of things that are happening that is a part of this divine plan divine orchestration events that come up people you cross paths with conversations that are being had or discussed it's all part of this plan this bigger purpose and it is pushing you propelling you in a direction where you're supposed to go your higher purpose getting you towards um like your soul family you're getting closer to meeting new connections new people in your life are coming in this week um that will help you on your journey and you help them on their journey what is this affirmation or little saying say calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone so you know this might just be the week where you come together or come into union with certain relationships partnerships friendships romance business related like there's a lot of those changes that may come through in the next week or so and yeah, it, I mean, it's it's important that you are open and receptive to allowing this energy into your life, Aries, especially if you have been um, a bit closed off or a bit hesitant to letting people in or letting down your walls. You know, I feel like for a lot of you, your guard could be up or there's this energy of having a hard time trusting others due to your past experiences. But you really need to let the divine help you that these people that are coming into your life this week or the even throughout April, really throughout April is what I want to stress. Like this, yeah, for the week ahead, sure. But I want to say like this is playing out for the energy of April throughout Aries season. Um, that I, yeah, like the people that are coming into your life this month, they're here to help you. They're here for a reason. And um, just to trust your gut instincts, of course. And to not dim yourself or to water yourself down to fit in so that people like you trying to pretend to be something that you're not. No, Aries, you need to stay true to you. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to your authenticity. That's what matters the most, okay? And the people who are truly meant to be in your life, those soul tribe, the people who will understand you and love you for you, will see that and appreciate you. And um, they won't be scared by seeing your uniqueness shine bright, okay? They will honor it. They will love it. They will love you for it. So please, Aries, I don't know who needs to hear this, but do not change yourself so that people like you. Because at the end of the day, not everybody's going to like you on this life we live on Earth. And that is okay. Hey, not everybody likes me i don't like everybody and that is perfectly fine we can't always be all besties with everybody <laughs> so what matters the most is if you like yourself and if you don't you can make adjustments and work on yourself what matters the most is if you feel good about what you're doing um not other people's judgments or opinions that that's really not what matters the most here okay but yeah, coming into union with your soul tribe, your angels are helping you out. You are so protected. There's a lot of divine orchestration. There are also lots of messages coming through to you. So be open to receive those messages, intuition, channel messages that come through to you when you're, you know, washing the dishes, folding the laundry, cleaning your home, um, even in the dream space or a synchronicity, things like that, that will kind of, they're like pointers that you are on the right track. So don't forget it. Let's pull some tarot messages and see what's going on for Aries. Summer and Venus for the week ahead. What's going on for Aries? What do Aries people need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Aries? Summer and Venus for the upcoming week. What is going on? What do my Aries need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance? Show me clearly. Messages for Aries. Summer and Venus. All right, so we have the Sun of Pentacles along with the Two of Swords. So you do have some sort of choice to make. You have some sort of... Oops, these cards are flying. Um, Hierophant, it's about a commitment with the Mother of Swords and Temperance. So you're needing to make a balanced decision here. And you may have some sort of... 
like choice about a commitment or a relationship or something that you've been investing a lot of time and energy into bottom of the deck we have the father of pentacles four of cups and the son of wands along with the what is this nine of pentacles is that the nine yes i just had to wait i swear one two three four five six seven eight three six nine yeah nine of pentacles but we're just gonna go with these three for now um so aries yeah you have a choice to oh this card's upside down <laughs> wait no, i'm not taking reversals with this deck as of this moment so you have a choice to make with the Two of Swords, and until you make this decision, you may be stuck at a crossroad, or you may feel that things in your life are very stagnant, or you're not really seeing much movement, right? It's on the pentacles, this is not a pentacles, it's a very slow energy, and you know, you're very focused on like one one choice or one option so i feel like already in your head you've made up your mind but i'm not sure if your action has actually showed or followed through with making this choice like in your mind is made up but have you actually taken the steps to make this happen um you may also be in this more of like a stubborn energy you could be feeling a little bit more stubborn or just like maybe a little timid or afraid or just like maybe that's why you haven't made this decision, right? With the two of swords, you have a choice to make and you know you need to make up your mind and deep down you already have the answer. You already know what you're going to choose, but you're kind of afraid or there's the... Um, you're waiting for a sign you're waiting for confirmation from your angels or you're waiting for someone to kind of confirm it for you before you follow through with taking some sort of action this is about some sort of commitment the hierophant out here or it's about like your own spiritual journey your own spiritual quest or this about like your um even like beliefs or religion or for some because the hierophant can represent like marriage um Whatever this choice is, though, like, you do carry the key. You already have the wisdom within you that will help you un unlock the door you want to go through, which is funny because when I was prepping um, the Work Your Light Oracle deck that I just used earlier, um, the crumbling came out, and that's very similar to the tower. And so I was kind of picking up on the energy, like, some of you are going through, or the group I'm picking up on, you're going through some sort of shift or... Um, like letting go of the old and welcoming in the new, which makes sense. We're in Aries season. It's the beginning of the new astrological year. Um, and so with the Hierophant, when we look at this card, there is a lightning bolt, which is indicating something very quick or sudden. So there could be something that comes up this next week or so that's un like something you can't prepare for. You're unprepared and... Maybe it's like information or knowledge that you gain. Because like I said with the Council of Light, helpers in the subtle realm and divine orchestration, how I was saying, you know, you could be washing the dishes or folding your laundry, cleaning your home and, you know, certain thoughts or things come to mind or in the dream space or like, you know, super strong, vivid messages that are coming through to you so strongly that you can't ignore um, like your calling or whatever your gut is telling you to do or pursue and so with that higher energy coming out here it's like i feel like you're getting some sort of knowledge or there's something to do with communication with the other deeper realms of like you know your guides your angels your higher self or like the divine like being able to communicate with that energy so i don't know if you are really tapping into your spiritual arts or spiritual growth and dedication like i don't know if you've been meditating more or if you're a reader yourself or you're interested in astrology or healing or tea leaf reading or fucking palm reading or you know throwing sticks or runes or whatever i don't know i am also picking up on that energy like maybe someone is really interested in that and you are unlocking some sort of information or some sort of information is going to be revealed to you and then we have the Mother of Swords. And the Mother of Swords, she's hella analytical, okay? So when you receive whatever this news is or whatever this information is, because I'm getting that so strongly with the Hierophant for some reason, it's like news that affects you 
Um, and it, it, it affects this choice, whatever this choice is. And we'll do some clarifying to see, like, what are you choosing? What is it that you're finding out? But whatever that is that you're the information that you're receiving. And again, even when we look at the Sun of Pentacles, there's this lunar energy. So your intuition is picking up on something. And then even when we look at the Two of Swords, there's this solar energy. So it's like illumination. Something is being illuminated for you. And you're needing to be analytical you need to be precise especially with this choice for some reason you need to be very precise and very like um like consider all of your options first before you go ahead and commit or before you go ahead and put the ring on it or tie tidy things i don't know like you gotta get um very clear and also really relying on your your own wisdom your own truth your own knowledge okay and make sure that before you make any important decisions that you're balanced that you're in the right headspace that you see things crystal clear okay temperance energy sagittarius we also have taurus energy didn't mention the signs out here just letting you guys know but yeah so you're really needing to get balanced and also being patient with yourself so even with these answers that are coming forth, I want to say even throughout um, to the new moon, no, not the, not the new moon, the full moon in Libra, which I believe is on the 16th. I feel like as we approach this full moon, you're going to be getting clarity and it will help you make this decision. OK, but you're needing to um, really focus on getting balance and grounded within yourself. OK, and patience with the answers that are coming to you so they may not come you'll say okay i'm gonna meditate i have a question i have a choice to make it's a pretty big deal i don't know what to do so i'm gonna go inward to connect with my guides my higher self try to get clear with what's gonna be the best thing for me right so you go inward you calm your mind you do meditation maybe you don't get the answers instantly maybe it's gonna take a few times a few trials it's gonna take consistent effort showing up every day even if it's for 10 15 minutes of like just meditating at the end of the day beginning of your day i don't give a fuck when you do it but you know needing to be patient with yourself because you know you do it once you're like oh my god it's not working i didn't get the answer so it's just i'm never gonna get it it's like well now you're just closing the door right you have the knowledge you have the key to unlock this knowledge i want to say that it's already within you okay so just just roll with it the answers are already within you we have the father of pentacles the four of cups and the son of wands so we do have like a lot of like people energy but let's just talk about it just about you and then we'll talk about other ways we can read this so the father of pentacles this is the king of pentacles provider energy this is someone who's very stable very grounded they're very calm so the energy that you're in this week you feel very calm pretty relaxed pretty grounded you got a good head on your shoulders even when we look at the other people energy that we have out here like you're feeling like very observant taking things slowly you're not really rushing into anything you're very much grounded right and i like that a lot for you but you're not quite satisfied with where you're at or what's going on with your life and your relationships there's something that's lacking and you might be focusing a lot on what you don't have rather than what you do have so it's i want to say it's all about perspective too so something about your perspective you may need to make some adjustments or work through looking at things from a different way okay because you do have a lot of great things going on in your life yeah okay you're not you don't have that that dream job or that dream relationship or this or that there's some things in your life that are lacking or not the best or you know you're craving striving for more for sure you know we <laughs> us humans we're never fully satisfied we always want what we can't have you're like oh my god i hate the cold i want warm weather warm weather comes along oh my god it's too hot it's too sweaty i want cold weather like we're never fucking satisfied <laughs> we're like really we are so hard to please but anyways with this four of cups out here you know, you could be overlooking the blessings that are currently in your life or like this is the life that you're living right now. Your past self really, really wanted. And now that you finally have it, you're not even focused on what you do have because you're so focused on what you don't have and what you want for your future self. But it's, it's like that constant chase. Right. And it's always fleeting. Once I have this thing, then I'll be happy. Once I have this thing, once I have that thing, that relationship, that job, that money, that this, that, that, then I'll be happy. But we're always chasing that. And we're never that's the ego we're, the ego is never fully happy right so just keep that in mind <laughs> uh then we have the sun of wands son of wands that it sons are the knights just getting it in my head because i was gonna say it was a page for a second um 
very creative energy very visionary then again though it's fleeting it's fleeting that's what i was saying with that four of cups it's like the energy that you're in it's like temporarily temporary fixes to you know your happiness your enjoyment your fulfillment and then it just kind of fades off and you're just wanting more and you're like well how do i get more of that right <laughs> so maybe that's relating to the hierophant the knowledge that's coming through from within you some choices that you have to make some adjustments that you have to make um very interesting energy that i'm picking up from these cards but so i, I just want to say like You could, you could like, you could have all the money in the world, you could live in the most beautiful home, have the most beautiful relationships, but if you're not satisfied or happy with what's going on in here, you're never going to be like fully satisfied or fully happy because it's just going to be fleeting. When you're searching for it externally in your relationships, in money, in this and that, like whatever the fuck it is, um, it's all great and dandy, but it gets old it gets old and so it's like you gotta kind of go inwards aries for some reason there's something that um there's something that you need to sit on or there's information that's trying to come to you air let's let's see let's see okay for the hmm i want to look into the hierophant because it's like such an interesting energy that i'm picking up from this like there's some sort of information or insight that maybe maybe you've already had this feeling or had these thoughts come up but like you've kind of just tried to ignore them just how i'm looking at the hierophant to the sun of pentacles it's like the the crow was saying like hey here's the here's the truth about this or here's this information or here's this perspective and the son of pentacles he's you know because son of pentacles knight of pentacles they can be very stubborn um especially in this deck this represents like stubbornness and kind of being in their own head <laughs> and so it's like this crow is trying to like help out this little fucking what is it a moose and and the moose is just like i don't want to hear it man like i'm facing this way i'm looking down i'm focusing on what i i have versus what i don't have like and the the crow is telling him like yo there's this another there's something else that you're missing here but you're not really focused on it anyways um it's about the hierophant for aries summarizing venus for the week ahead Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me. It's too many. Have the Hierophant for Aries for the week ahead. Wow. Three of Wands coming out. The Nine of Wands. Have the Hierophant for Aries. Okay. The Four of Swords and the Sun of Cups. Wow. We got a lot of like Sun Knight energy and the Chariot at the bottom, Cancerian energy. So here's the thing. The answers that are coming to you, like I said, the answers are within. Four of Swords, the answers are within you. And true happiness and joy is from within. Things in your life, relationships, they sure add to it and they sure make life worth living, right? What's living without love and support and all the good shit, right? So we always have to have that. <laughs> but it looks like, again, the key... The key that you're searching for, you already have it. It's already within you. You already have, um, I want to say the blueprint. The steps that you need to take in order to get to your happiness. They're, you're right on track. So Aries, I don't know if you've been feeling a little bit lost or unsure with the direction you're headed down. Or there's some doubt that you're having or some fears. Or you know, if you really just kind of been feeling stuck unfulfilled i don't care whatever the case is we again there's a lot of like lunar energy coming up so could even be tying into the new moon we had in aries and how you're realizing like wow i really want more i'm really striving for more i really am craving more of insert whatever and kind of feeling like there's lack feeling like you're never gonna get there feeling like you know you're so close yet so far away maybe that's how you felt for a really long time and you just kind of feel disappointed right feeling like there's just like an uphill battle just like such a struggle to get to your desires and you know it hasn't been easy it's been a, quite a struggle and um even with the son of cups the son of cups can be very emotional 
feeling very much like deep intense emotions when you look at the cup it's like it's literally a black cup <laughs> you see that shit it's like it just gives such for me it gives such like scorpionic energy <laughs> i don't know but it just kind of feels like maybe you've been in a dark emotional place and um feeling like you know you're never gonna get there or just like th- that's like again your ego that is such your ego saying like aries you're never gonna get there aries <laughs> you keep trying you keep falling <laughs> like just like playing tricks on you and having you doubt yourself and your abilities and for moments you may believe it for moments you may really feel stuck and that's what would explain why we had that two of swords energy of just feeling like stuck in limbo stagnant as fuck unable to really move forward feeling just tied back held back by yourself though like this is all going on within you anyways aries you have the capability to get closer not even to get closer but to reach this goal or to to reach this destination um to get to wherever it is that you want to go you're not quite sure how or you feel like you're on the wrong track or you feel like you feel like something's off we'll look into that four of cups we'll see like what's really lacking here what is it that you're lacking okay we'll figure that out but you're already taking you're already taking the steps you need to take to get there three of wands all right three of wands is all about visioning envisioning the future and the steps that you have to take and you're already taking those steps yeah it's challenging yeah sometimes you may take a little a little tumble a little stumble and fall back but you're doing the best you can you're you're doing good it's just you really need to be patient with yourself temperance and i feel like some of you are you're having a hard time with that there's so much potential when we look at the three of wands all that beautiful color this reminds me of the earthworm in the animal spirit deck that i used recently or very often on this channel there is like a whole bunch of potential just waiting for you to tap into it you just need to tap into it you just really need to really hone in get as clear like especially um visualization is a good tactic tactic yeah technique (laughs) it's a good technique to use when manifesting like visualization like what do you see what do you smell what do you taste what do you touch what do you hear like using your senses and putting in like a little movie a little scenario in your head like as you're meditating visualize visualization will change your life i swear when i look at the um, don't dim to fit in you know just the triangle with like the eye oh my god illuminati (laughs) no but i feel like and it's kind of like there's that triangle right so i feel i feel like working between you the physical and spirit right there's you right there's you then there's spirit and then there's the physical so it's like you just gotta ask your angels to help you but then also take the steps which you already are doing but keep that up and if you gotta clarify or if you gotta like be a little more specific or change your approach that might just be the shift you need to bring in that success that you want so bad anyways let's move forward at at the bottom we have the chariot so there is movement the chariot and the eight of swords see Right now, you're feeling a little bit stuck. There's that stuck, stagnant energy. But again, you're also going through transformation. You're going through massive change internally, emotionally, spiritually. And that's going to reflect externally in your environment, in your relationships, everything else that's going on around you in your life. It's going to be reflecting. It's going to be mirrored back to you. And so it's just a matter of time before you hatch, before you spread your wings and you're able to finally breathe you know and take action and fly forward with that confidence it's really just like it's just a little hurdle that you're going through but let's take a look into this four of cups four of cups for aries summarizing venus for the week ahead tell me about the four of cups for aries some of you just need to get more organized you just gotta get more organized you gotta get more focus you need more structure that might just be what you need that will help you you know get over this last hurdle Tell me about the Four of Cups for Aries, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Show me clearly. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Aries, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. You can 
be stressing out about the things that you can't control. Seven of Pentacles, reevaluating where you're at, what's working, what isn't. You're like, shouldn't I have more results by now? Five of Cups coming out along with the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're you're really like in this heavy contemplative mode. We have the sun at the bottom, beautiful. So as you're looking around you, your life, your relationships, you're like, I feel like I should have more. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like I should have more results by now. Should I be you're you're reevaluating like is this successful? Is what I'm doing successful or is it a failure? It's not a failure. But in your head you might be feeling like, wow, I have barely any fruits. And I feel like I've been putting so much effort in and I'm receiving fuck all. <laughs> like, you know, like, and so there's this energy of disappointment. You're feeling really just like, damn, here we go again. So close yet so far away. I feel like I'm never going to get there. Feeling just really emotional, really heavy. And there we go. Two of wands stuck at that crossroad. Do I continue to invest more into this or do I just give up and walk away? But if you were to just give up and walk away, you'd probably feel very sad. Even It's only... I want to stress this. I want to stress this. It is only a failure if you quit. It is only a failure if you quit. If this is something that you desire, if this is something that you want, if you know it's going to bring you so much happiness and fulfillment, don't quit. Find a different approach. If you can't go over it and you can't go around it, then you've got to find a way to go under it. You've got to find a different approach. That is just like what you're needing to... I think that's the main gist of this reading is like you just need to find a different approach so if whatever it is that you're trying to get towards i don't care if it's a relationship self goal uh career i don't care whatever it is if it's not working out if it's not successful you need to approach it differently you need to change the action that you're taking if you keep doing the same thing taking the same action you're going to end up with the same results. So you have to change your action and do something differently. Okay. So take notes. Oh my God, it's a failure. It's not working out. I should quit. No, use those fails, those fails, use that as like statistics as data. Okay. So that didn't work out. That's okay. You know better now. Try something else. Try a different approach. There's something that's just like, it's going over your head. And I feel like the, the approach, the answer is already within you. Not even I feel, I know it is, right? It's almost like this crow could be your higher, how, how, how is this? This crow is like your higher self saying like, Aries, Aries, I have this great idea, but you can't hear it unless you go inwards. Aries, hello, don't give up. You're, you're so close, you're right on track. You're just missing just, just a little bit. And if you were to just go inwards and listen to your, your heart and your spirit, <laughs> then you would be able to access this knowledge, right? The spiritual knowledge is already within you, Aries. You just gotta go inwards. So quiet the mind this week. Make it a priority to meditate more, to journal more, to connect to your guides more. Simply even just talking out loud to them, asking for guidance, asking for um, assistance. And if you have, great. Keep that up. You're like, oh, but it's all working now. Shut, the, shut that off. Keep it up. Keep the consistent effort. <laughs> it, like I said, it's not going to just happen instantly. Okay, you have all the keys to your problems. No, it's going to take dedication, consistency, active effort and um integrating integrating is another thing so i feel like you'll get you'll get hit with this idea when we look at the son of wands like hit with this this final like aha moment light bulb go off um where you're gonna feel inspired and excited and motivated this is after you kind of feel like well maybe i should just quit but then there's that fire that's lit within you and you're like no you know what I'm not a quitter. I'm not going to give up. I fucking want this. I deserve this. And I'm going to go get it. Point blank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like I said, at the bottom, we have the sun. Why are you not going to quit? Because we have the sun, the fool, and the wheel of fortune. Yeah. Okay. And the devil under that. Probably talking about um, restrictions, self-sabotage, mindsets, things in your life that have been holding you back right that's something that needs to change with the wheel of fortune you need to change that so we have the sun and the fool you got to take the jump to be where you want to be you can't just sit around hoping wishing praying things will change you have to be the change 
right? We look at the fool. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's just a little bird. Yeah, you know what? Bird has they have the instinct, right? The natural instinct is to learn to fly. And some birds don't make it. Some little birdies, they fucking die. <laughs> so you have to ask yourself, is this worth the risk? Is this happiness, this joy, this fulfillment worth the risk of potential loss or failure or looking like a fool, looking like an idiot? Hell yeah. Because on the other side of that risk is all the happiness that you want, deserve, and desire. So what an interesting reading oh my god aries okay so we're gonna leave your reading here uh that's for your week ahead i hope that this was helpful the answer's within you you gotta go inward maybe you gotta clear some shit out make some adjustments to your approach get a little bit more analytical a little bit more serious come up with a solid plan isn't that what i said in your new moon spread i did just a few days ago it was really short it was the new moon urgent messages for Aries. New uh, new moon in Aries urgent messages. I did all the signs. And it was like five minutes each sign. So go listen to that. Because I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that was your reading. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think I think that may have been in your reading for that new moon energy. So get clear, get practical, get planning. Take that action. You're so fucking close. So don't give up now. Reevaluate. Make adjustments. Boom. Doors will fly open for you, okay? It's about your approach. It's about your mindset. And it's about the energy that you are embodying and putting out. All right, Aries. So I'm going to leave the reading here. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.